Loitering with a vacant eye along the Grecian gallery and brooding on my heavy ill, I met a statue standing still. Still in marble stone stood he, and steadfastly he looked at me. Well met, I thought the look would say. We both were fashioned far away. We neither knew when we were young, these Londoners we live among. Still he stood and eyed me hard, an earnest and a grave regard. What lad drooping with your lot? I too would be where I am not. I too survey that endless line of men whose thoughts are not as mine. Years ere you stood up from rest, on my neck the colour pressed. Years when you laid down your ill, I shall stand and bear it still. Courage, lad, tis not for long. Stand, quit you like stone, be strong. So I thought his look would say. And light on me my trouble lay, and I stepped out in flesh and bone, manful like the man of stone. Here the hangman stops his cart. Now the best of friends must part. Fare you well, for ill fare I. Live, lads, and I will die. Oh, at home had I but stayed, prenticed to my father's trade. Had I stuck to plain and ads, I had not been lost, my lads. Then I might have built perhaps gallows trees for other chaps, never dangled on my own, had I but left ill alone. Now, you see, they hang me high, and the people passing by stop to shake their fists and curse. So it has come from ill to worse. Here hang I, and right and left two poor fellows hang for theft. All the same's the luck we prove, though the midmost hangs for love. Comrades all that stand and gaze, walk henceforth in other ways. See my neck and save your own. Comrades all, leave ill alone. Make some day a decent end, shrewder fellows than your friend. Fare you well, for ill fare I. Live, lads, and I will die. <laughs>